Thank you for joining me on this Servoy tutorial, Getting Started with Servoy. My name is Jason Munier, and I'll be your host for today's tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the following topics. Installing the software, opening sample solutions, creating your own solution, and connecting to an existing database. Let's go ahead and get started with installing the software. To start, you first must have the installer that you've downloaded from our website at Servoy.com. After you've downloaded the JAR file, you can run it by double-clicking on it. Of course, you must have the Java Runtime Environment installed. If you don't have that installed, you can go to Java.com and get that as well. Once you've double-clicked the JAR file, you should get a window like this appearing starting the ins installation. Go ahead and click Next. Now you must accept the terms of the license agreement before continuing. And now it will ask you where you want to install the software. Just going to put a name in here. Click Next. Click OK. Now we have different options available for installation. Some of these options are grayed out, which means they are not optional, they are required. We have the application server. These are the core application files for Servoy. We have developer, which is the developer interface. We have JDBC driver files. These are the driver files necessary to connect to other databases. We have the database option. Servoy ships standard with Sybase SQL anywhere. But if you're using your own database, you may deselect this and it will not install the Sybase database. We have the runtime builder, which allows you to build solutions that do not require a server connection. We have Windows service option, which allows you to run the application server as a Windows service. We have the example files. These are just Servoy solutions that are given to you as an example. Also have a headless client sample, which shows you how to integrate the Servoy technology into your own web pages. We have documentation files, which are required. We have sample beans, which are Java beans that you can put in your solutions. We also have sample plugin files for um, various extensions to our software. We have look and feel files, which will allow you to change the look and feel of the interface. We also have a PDF support package for working with PDF files. And once you've selected all your options, you click Next and it moves on to the workspace location. Here we tell Servoy where we want to store our local solution files. I'm going to go ahead and change this name and click Next. It warns us it's going to create a workspace. And now you'll notice the installation begins. Once it's finished, it'll let us know that it's finished. We'll go ahead and click Next. Now you can set up shortcuts on the Start menu or the Desktop, or both. And you can select for all users or just the current user. So now we click Next. Installation has been comp completed. You can also generate an automatic installation script to run on other computers. Go ahead and click Done. 